We are just a couple of miles from the Capitol building at beautiful Nationals Park in Washington. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Washington Nationals and the Atlanta Braves. It's Braves baseball next. Matt Wisler is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Braves. EK, what's the word on him? Remember, guys, this is someone that will come at you with four different pitches. He'll change velocity, he'll go up and down, the break on the pitches makes it a real challenge for a hitter. Ben Revere makes his way to the plate, and we are ready for some Need daytime baseball. Center fielder number nine, Ben Revere. And we are underway this afternoon as the first pitch is over for a called strike one. First pitch, 107. To short. Throw too late, and he's on with an infield single to open up the ball game. And you know, exactly. any way you can get Third on base, you just six. take it. Here he just Anthony puts the ball in play. Rendon. Doesn't hit it all that hard, but he's able to leg it out at first base, and he's on to start this ball game. Into the box now, Anthony Rendon. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the first pitch to him. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0 and 1. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Well, McDonald, just like most other umpires, he'll miss a couple here and there, but his strike zone never seems to be too outrageous. Now a move over to first and a dive, but he's back in there. Nobody out, runner on first. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. He's set. Here comes the one one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He showed him that slider running away two times in a row. Now might be a good time to call on that two seamer running in. He's running towards second. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for a hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Well, this is just a prototypical at bat by a number two hitter. You'll see it right here. He just sees a big opening out there, and he just puts his baseball right in that big opening. Runners are at the corners now to start the inning. Here's Bryce Harper now, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Now with two on, nobody out, you got to be thinking strikeout double play out there on the mound. One or the other is what you really need. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Well, that's a good spot for that two seam fastball. You know, remember, that'll run away from left handers, so a good idea to work the outside edge. Here's the one and one delivery. Two and one. Boy, he better get it back together here with two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. He's set and the two one pitch. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Two and two count. Here it comes. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. You need to be awfully careful here. Runners at the corners, that, that's bad enough. You do not want to load the bases here in the very first inning. 
And he lost him. Ball four as Harper will reach. Early struggles here with the command. That's two hits and a walk now in the very first inning. He's going to need to sort things out here pretty quick. Ryan Zimmerman has a golden opportunity to give his guys the lead as he stands in with three men aboard. Sends that one out of play for strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Now with two strikes, he can put the ground ball on the back burner and really go after the strikeout here. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. High and deep to left center field. Ranging back is Inciarte. To the track, to the wall. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he promptly unloads the bases with that one, and the Nationals have now taken a 4-0 lead. Boy, how about this for a first inning outburst? They've come right out and really handed this guy his lunch on the mound. And that's going to wind up being a first inning grand slam. Wow. You know what? They may not be done. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Second baseman. Daniel Murphy. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. Oh. And now... It's hard to do, but you've got to try and push the reset button on the mound. You're basically starting the inning from scratch, so you've got to make sure that four is all they're going to get. The windup and a 1 0 pitch. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to 1 and 1. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there. One and two. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. And here's how the Nats line up in this one. Steve, what's the key to a road victory for them? Just don't be stupid up there. Don't chase balls out of the zone. Move guys along when the situation calls for it. Play the game. So the base is empty here with one away. And here's the left fielder, Jason Worth. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count, 0-1. Drilled right back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Yeah, really not a bad pitch when you look at it. This is at the knees with some movement. He just uses the center of the diamond and checks in here with a base hit. Standing in now, Danny Espinoza as he'll swing and lift a foul ball off to the left and out of play. Now the 0 1. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's 1 and 1. And I think that's been a big part of the problem so far. He just can't locate his fastball, especially in situations where he has to. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. He just doesn't seem to have his good command out there in the first inning. You're right about that. He has not looked comfortable at all so far, and sometimes you see that when you're pitching on the road. 
but rarely when you're in your own home ballpark. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. To tune two, two now. Yeah, he just really pulled off of that pitch. This is a two-seamer working its way down and away, and he wasn't even close. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. With a moment now, let's check out the top of the scorecard and see how the Braves align themselves defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric? Well, guys, when you talk about a position that requires arm strength, right field is one of those. This man, he has arm strength to die for. He could throw it from the wall. He could, he could probably throw it from the darn stands. I hope he gets a chance to show it off in this one. Wilson Ramos is in with two away as he takes a ball 1-0. Well, he's really had to work hard here in this first inning. And you got to wonder, how much is that going to take out of him? Shot towards second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. But the damage in the inning came right here for the Nationals. A grand slam home run. Last chance coming up here for the Braves. It's 4-0 Washington. Max Scherzer gets the ball for Washington in this one. What's your tank on him, E.K.? Remember, guys, this is someone that will come at you with four different pitches. He'll change velocity, he'll go up and down, the break on the pitches makes it a real challenge for a hitter. Ender Inciarte comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. The Left fielder, Ender Inciarte. Hey. Drops in a strike to start the at bat, nothing and one. Scherzer looks in. 0-1 on its way. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Flipped out the other way towards short. And that is by him on into center field. So good hitting on 0-2 nets him a leadoff single. And on the mound, here's where you got to keep pitching like it's a one-run game. You never want to get in that relaxed mode where you think, eh, I've got some cushion. I, I can afford to give up some hits. That'll spell disaster. Now at the plate, Eric Ibar. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Scherzer will check it first and a dive but he's back. First pitch fastball off the plate there and it's ball one. That's inside. 2 0. Yeah, Matt. Not the start you're hoping for away from home. He needs to really concentrate here before he gets himself into trouble. Okay. 2 0 count. Here it comes. Called a strike on the inside part of the plate. 2 and 1. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for, but on 2 0, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. Two one. Here it is. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Chop foul right at home plate.
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Revere will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And time now to take a look at how these Braves are lined up in this one. Eric, who should we keep an eye on? Well, I'll be keeping an eye on what that leadoff hitter can do in this one. I think he does a great job of taking what's given to him. Never tries to do too much. Knows how to extend an at bat and get the pitch he's looking for. Freddie Freeman gets his first opportunity now. Runner at first with one gone. Here comes the first pitch. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And no throw as he'll just hang on to it. Runner at second here with one man out. Ripped on the ground to first. Fielded cleanly by Zimmerman. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. And with a quick breather here, let's take a look at how the Nats will align themselves defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. E.K., what's the word? Well, guys, we get to watch one of the best all-around players in the game in Bryce Harper. But what he does defensively, he's got great speed, got an absolute cannon for an arm, and he's very aggressive, has not met a wall that he doesn't want to run through. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nick Markakis is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. On the ground to the right side. Murphy showing off his range. Throw on to first is going to be in time, and the Nationals get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. And you know what? I don't care who you're playing. You know, it's never easy to go out on the road and win any game. So that was a great effort by them in every phase of the game. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory.